if you watched last time, you know uh, I'm down south of Mission Rocks here, yeah, Cape Vital, towards St. Lucia. Uh, about two k's down, not even, maybe. Um, and we're fishing the ledges here. It's going to a low tide, almost low now, so I don't have much time. It's a league, we're fishing right through till tomorrow morning. So we've got two low tides, I'm trying to make this one count. Um, just to recap, we've got one nice, uh, very nice lemon fish and a nice uh, cave bass, a uh, lantern fish. Last time fishing circle hook, 6 o mustard, tuna circle, and uh, 4 -oh tuna circle at the top. Fishing 0 0.80 fluorocarbon, Kingfisher, also here. Now, 5 ounce little ball sinker. The circle hooks help you not to get stuck so much. Here, I've got another 0.85 ultra green, the Maximo. Coast cotton, I'm using my grinder, elite medium heavy, 6,500 J braid, and we are dip, dip sticking currently. I'm fishing these crevices on the edge here, just dipping where, where the rock on and the lantern fish will be in, and they sit there in daytime. There's nice reef here, this whole section is sanded up, it's not great, it's not ideal. So I found this little spot almost in the middle of this reef. Uh, which has got the best possible water and so far this is where I'm getting results. So I'm sticking it out here and uh, I'll talk a lot more later. Let's just get some fish.
what I did is I moved a bit back to towards Mission. Just with a pushing tide, it looks like those banks in the back can uh, kick up less sand, which is nice for a pompano or a stumpy just now. And even here in front, it's a, it's a bit of a bay it formed here. There's a bit of broken reef here when I came past earlier. So I'm going to try my luck. This looks the best to land your fish because it's important to land them, obviously. So I'm going to put some baits out here. I've got three hours still to fish this session. Then I must quit for three hours before the Zululand League. I can't fish. And then the Zululand League starts at 7 and we go till 3 tomorrow morning. But now on the push here, this probably looks the best. Fish the same trace, same everything. Let's see what we can get. Maybe we're lucky we get a speckle. Maybe we're lucky we get a pommy or a... On the top of... That side on a low note, walked a bit back here to uh, towards missions. We're going to fish a spot here. I'm here with Linton. Um, taking a break between four and seven. I'm not allowed to fish three hours before the Zululand League. Um, Mapuma's Langas League is continuous till tomorrow morning at seven o'clock. So take this break and then I can fish both leagues. So we're going to try a spot here and see what uh, night species we can scratch out of the reef here. Always lack of fishing and lack of fishing with Linton as well. He's got all this awesome secret little baits and stuff which I'll steal when he's at the water. But uh, yeah, let's see what we're going to do. Rigging both rods, medium heavy with a 6.5, 6,530 pound J braid. Got 30 pound J braid on here. That's the J braid grand I'm testing. It's normal J braid, 8 weave. And I've got Saltiga 80 pound, 100 pound uh, leader on. And then I just put a swivel with uh, 0.70 and that ties to my trace. Uh, and this is the 5000 Saltus on the Poseidon 5 to 7 testing rod I've got uh, to play with. Lovely, lovely rod already. Nice edible rod. So yeah. couple of minutes before dark, this final bait preps, just cleaning some Octi legs, and a variety of bait you have with you to see what works, test different baits, the octopus obviously very nice for when the pickers take your bait off too quick, the red eye and the sardines, so put that underneath it. taking skin off now. Now yet vital obviously we're in a reserve the wildlife when you're driving to this spot you see quite a bit of wildlife. This spot where we are now is known for a big resident leopard that comes here at night on the beach. 
comes and sits at your bait box. Kind of hope and don't hope it happens tonight. Always kind of mixed feelings about that. But yeah. Sometimes you get so stuck in the fishing, you don't even realize. You'll probably sit behind you, you don't know. So no moon, springtide, day after. I like splitting the octis open and sometimes even beating them. Not because they were naughty, just to make them a bit more tender and get the flavor out. See how nice that is, white meat inside. the compass and uh, managed to get this eel tail barbel to chow the top. Basically our target species for the night. Uh, just gonna keep knocking them over, keep the pot ticking. Let's see where it goes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna measure this eel tail. Um, eel tail is total length, it doesn't have a fork in the tail. So we're gonna get the, whoa, but upset. At the tip of his nose, to the end of his tail. You happy with that tight on? Sure. Shot. That's 54 centimeters. Can just sign pass. Okay guys, uh, a very important thing with the eel tail barbel is that they've got these three spines on the pec fins and on the top. Uh, and they can give you quite a nasty poke and you're gonna end up in hospital with swelling and severe pain. So easy way to grab them is, you go in from the front, you can just behave a little bit, you go in from the front behind these two spans and you got him locked there. So basically he can't, he can't jab you and then you can walk and get your hook out. Circle hook got him solid, yeah? And then you got him out, he's not gonna hurt you. Get him back in the water quickly like that. fishing for this today finally got it and as we suggested octopus leg some red eye on here we go look out lovely fish really really a nice nice stumpy what a bit what a bit Solid fish. I want to see on this. Quickly. It's about a 55. We'll see now when we measure the pegs. Let me go release it. Expected a cop. Linton told me they get them here. I said what? But look at that. A nice cobby. Okay guys, that's a proper nice cave bass. 
Look at the nice markings on this. It's even got more white. Hey. Let's just wash it more. Look at that. Really nice cave bass. We'll check his length now. Hey, we made 50. Good size cave bass. Hey now, just bit me. It's sharp teeth. Not like your normal bass. <laughs> Good size, guys. Very chuffed with this. It's about half or 20 past one in the morning. No, two. And uh, hour to go. We said we're going to call it at three. So happy with this. Very happy.